Welcome back everybody, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and I have another 12x12 layout for you. I will be using the papers from Courtier Creations and they're from the collection A Gentleman's Emporium. I started this layout by first matching my photo. So what I did was I chose this paper which is the paper 09A which I'd used in one of my previous layouts and I did a small mat as I usually do using my Perfect Layers ruler. I really wanted this photo to jump off the page so I decided to give it a second mat with a contrasting colour. I really loved this paper here with all the love hearts and diamonds but then I realised I didn't really have a background paper so I went looking and I found this gorgeous paper. It's paper 12A from the Gentleman's Emporium and I just loved the greys and the blues and the hints of beige colours that was, were in it. It's an absolutely gorgeous paper. So then um, once again I went looking for that second mat and I did audition quite a few different papers but in the end I chose this paper 09A which if you recalled was the first one I did for the first mat. So this is the reverse side of the paper and I'm going to give it a, a thicker mat. I just wanted it to really highlight highlight the photo. I love to ink my edges of all my papers. It's I believe that it helps everything pop. So I took my vintage photo in the Distress Oxide range and I inked all four sides and I absolutely love, I don't know, it added a old world feel to a more modern photo. I really have no idea what I'm going to do with this layout. So I got out this gorgeous paper and I thought, yes, it might work, put it aside. And then I found this paper. It's the 12A paper and I absolutely loved some of the what I call cutouts and I'm going to be cutting them all out and using them. A few strips of everything and they land up being my embellishments. So I've got my pieces all cut out and then I'm going to start trying to put this layout together. I absolutely love that strip there so I played around with it and I knew I wanted to use these clocks or these pocket watches as I wanted to, um, them to symbolize the passing of time. So then I took out my vintage photo distress oxide once again and I inked all the edges of my two little rectangles as I like to, if I do that to one lot of paper, ink the edges, I try to do it to all my other papers that I might cut out just so that it brings everything in together and forms a cohesive layout. It's just a personal choice that I like doing. With this collection, or all, all I have of this collection is the papers. It's a gentleman's emporium and all I have are the papers. I don't have the stickers or the uh, the guide die cuts and whatever else might come all the other embellishments that might come with this layout I just have the papers and this layout and all the other layouts that I have made with this With these papers are pr is proof that you don't need everything that comes with a collection. I Have just taken this gorgeous paper and this is paper 08a I love the checkered look about it and all I've done is I've cut a strip it's about two inches wide and because my hoarding instincts have kicked in instead of using the whole strip I've just cut little rectangles so it just gives the illusion that the strips run in all the way down when in actual fact it isn't. I will be inking them with my vintage photo ink and then I take out another strip of paper this is from a leftover strip from some other project and I love that sort of greyish look there so I just cut some extra little strips I'm making my paper last yes I'm hoarding it once again inking it and I am doing a little I don't know would you call that a cascade of papers going down I really like how this turns out in the end it's very effective and as I said earlier no embellishments whatsoever this layout was all made with just the papers I really did like how the layout was coming along but it just needed that something extra. So I got out this gorgeous stamp set from Kaisercraft. It's called Be Brave and it has this gorgeous stamp with all these all these little stars on it. So what I did was I just started randomly stamping everywhere and it really just made this made the background paper come to life and it also made it my own because you know lots of people are going to have this paper in their stash. But just by that added touch of stamping, it makes it your own and different from everybody else's. 
So this strip here is from, I believe, the paper that I cut out earlier, 12A, and I'm just going to, off camera, trim all those lovely little little banners. And the top one says, have strength. The middle one, be gentle. And the one down the bottom says, be humble. And off camera, I did ink them all with the Distress Oxides in Vintage Photo. And here it's time to do a bit more stamping. So from the same stamp set, I have taken this gorgeous sun and I've used the archival ink in the color coffee. And inside the sun, it says, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. And that was another one of the little stamps in the Be Brave stamp set from Kaisercraft. And the next stamp that I'm gonna be using from the same stamp set is this one here and it says I love you to the moon and back and I'm just randomly stamping it everywhere. From my stash I found these gorgeous bronze sequins and what I've done was I just put them in my hand and just let them fall randomly and where they fell that's where I stuck them down just using some gel medium and we're at the end now just inking my page with that same vintage photo distress oxide and where that is it for us i absolutely love how it came together there will be no title for this layout only because i didn't want to draw attention to a title or anything i want this layout to be a message to my son and the message is to have strength to be gentle to be humble to keep his eyes on the stars and his feet on the ground as well as to know that i love him to the moon and back so that is it. Lots of little hidden messages for him to read for the rest of his life, hopefully. And that is it, my friends. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And until next time, bye.